Hello! Today we're going to be talking about RAVO. RAVO stands for Retrieval, Automaticity, Vocabulary, Elaboration, and Orthography, and is a literacy program for students in grades 2 through 4. RAVO includes 77 lessons and 16 assessments to track progress. This is done 45 minutes a week for a minimum of two days. RAVO aims to teach readers to learn, connect, and incorporate their knowledge of a word as fast as possible. To do this, each week students are presented with core words that contain important semantic, phonological, and orthographic content. After looking at core words, students will look at related words and meanings. Then, they will read the core words in contexts and stories. Here is an example of a core word that could be used with RAVO and what can be elaborated on based on this word. Some goals of RAVO are to improve reading fluency, reading comprehension, and reading automaticity. Another goal is to enhance self-efficacy and confidence over the new development and growth of vocabulary. So who would benefit from RAVO? RAVO was created for those in grades 2 to 4 and would benefit children in this age range the most. It would also benefit children with reading difficulties, children who have been identified as requiring either Tier 2 or Tier 3 intervention, and children falling at risk based on the Dibbles test. How can it be incorporated in the class? RAVO can be used in several different settings and environments, including regular classroom settings, short-term intervention programs, pull-out programs, after-school programs, during summer school, or through one-on-one -on -one tutoring. As mentioned, with regards to the various settings, RAVO can be utilized as a more intensive program or RAVO can be incorporated in the classroom as part of the literacy education. To incorporate RAVO in the classroom, RAVO provides teachers with detailed units and lesson activities as well as an overview of the content that will be covered in each unit or lesson that they can easily incorporate into the classroom. RAVO also provides teachers with a timeline for how long to do each activity. Does RAVO even work? Well, several research studies have been done examining the effectiveness of RAVO. I could not find any that denied the efficacy of RAVO, but rather multiple that gave credit to this educational intervention program. The first study I found providing efficacy to RAVO was done by Wolf et al., which examined several settings in which RAVO was used and was effective when compared to control groups. Wolf et al. found that using RAVO garnered benefits in area of reading and language measures and the group of children in the RAVO cohort outperformed their peers in control conditions on measures of decoding, word reading, connecting text reading, and comprehension. The second research study, conducted by Donnelly Adams, was similar to the first. However, it took place as part of summer school intervention. This study revealed that children in the RAVO intervention group showed improvement in listening and reading comprehension, sight word reading, and reading fluency when compared to control groups. The final study to mention was conducted by Morris et al., which compared two groups of reading intervention programs. The groups were phonological-only control groups, which only targeted phonological processing, and multidimensional models of literacy development which are intervention methods that use multiple facets of literacy development to help students learn. RAVO is an example of a multidimensional model. Morris et al. found that students in the RAVO cohort had better scores of fluency, comprehension, vocabulary, and semantic flexibility when compared to the control group of phonological only. Interestingly, and importantly, when following up a year later with students in both groups, results indicated that the students in the multidimensional intervention group displayed a faster rate of skill growth and a better outcome score than the control group, which reveals potential longevity and lasting results from programs such as RAVO. But wait! Although this study has great potential benefits, it is important to note that RAVO was not the only multidimensional intervention used in this study. So while the results are still significant, it is unclear what benefits can be attributed to RAVO solely. This is also why it's very important to research educational strategies to ensure efficacy. Well, that brings us to the end of this video. Thanks for watching!